Earth just got a terrifying message from one of the Voyager spacecraft 14 and a half billion miles away. For over four decades, the indomitable Voyager 1 spacecraft has been defying the odds and surpassing its expected lifespan, traversing the far reaches of our solar system and beyond. Along the way, it has gifted us with countless transmissions from the depths of space. Still, its latest offering has left NASA's finest minds in bewilderment, as the enigmatic data it is sent back defies all explanation. What secrets lie within Voyager 1's latest transmission, and how could they shape our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it? Join us as we explore how Voyager 1 just turned back on and made a terrifying discovery and more. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 is 14 and a half billion miles away from Earth and still going strong. Despite being in space for decades, Voyager 1 still functions normally, providing us with unique data that is helping us understand interstellar space. However, Voyager 1 has recently been sending back unusual telemetry data to Earth, which has puzzled scientists. Voyager 1 is equipped with an intricate system known as the Altitude Articulation and Control System of the Craft, or AAC, that controls the spacecraft's movement and orientation to ensure that Voyager 1's antenna is directed toward Earth. Scientists have noted that Voyager 1's movement and orientation were completely unaligned, indicating that the spacecraft did not know where it was in space. It was unexpected and raised concerns among the authorities about why an alarm did not go off within Voyager 1 when things began to go south. NASA's experts believe that without the AACS, the spacecraft would not have been able to transmit the correct data to Earth. The AACS allow the spacecraft to send information about its environment, which scientists need to understand interstellar space. However, they also believe that a mystery like this is expected at this stage in the Voyager mission. The project manager of the Voyager missions, Suzanne Dodd, who has been working at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory since 1984, shares the same thoughts. It's also remarkable to think about the incredible feat of engineering that went into creating Voyager 1. Its resilience is a testament to the ingenuity and perseverance of our scientists and engineers. It's amazing to think that after over 40 years, Voyager 1 is still transmitting signals back to us, even as it operates under such harsh conditions, with this legendary spacecraft operating at much lower temperatures than intended. However, it's important to remember that Voyager 1's nuclear power source is gradually deteriorating and its external environment may eventually lead to its final shutdown. However, NASA's scientists and engineers have sprung into action to identify and fix the problem. The team faced a crucial decision. Should they transfer the information to a backup system, or was the spacecraft damaged? With NASA's top scientists on the case, it wasn't long before they pinpointed the issue. An onboard computer had stopped working years prior and was sending telemetry data to the wrong place, resulting in corrupted data. Thankfully, the team was able to quickly come up with a solution that would save their beloved Voyager 1. They could redirect the data to the correct computer, and the AACS was performing at its best again. However, why the AACS started transmitting telemetry data to the wrong place remains unsolved. It's just another example of the incredible challenges of exploring the unknown depths of space and the tireless efforts of NASA's brilliant minds to keep our spacecraft and missions on track. It's mind-blowing to think that Voyager 1 is currently the farthest artificial object from Earth, soaring through the endless expanse of interstellar space. But did you know that if something goes wrong with this legendary spacecraft, NASA can't just send another to rescue it? It's just not possible, given the immense distances involved. Maintaining two-way communication with Voyager 1 is already a major challenge for NASA, with messages taking around two days to reach a spacecraft from Earth. It means that if any emergencies arise, there's a real risk that NASA's team won't be able to respond in time. But despite these difficulties, NASA remains optimistic about the future of this amazing spacecraft. The data that Voyager 1 is transmitting back to Earth is incredibly valuable for NASA's ongoing mission to explore and understand the cosmos. Even though communication is slow and sometimes unreliable, the insights that Voyager 1 provides about interstellar space will be indispensable for future space missions. So, until we hear no more from Voyager 1, let's continue to marvel at this remarkable spacecraft's incredible journey through the cosmos. 
Voyager 1 has already crossed the spherical edge of the heliosphere and next, it experienced the termination shock, in which the solar wind speed is reduced to that of sound. It then entered the heliopause, representing our solar system's outermost point and serving as the final barrier separating solar system space from the interstellar medium. However, changes in heliopause have long attracted the attention of scientists as our current heliopause models cannot explain certain recently discovered frightening changes. Astronomers use a specific instance from 2014, and the solar wind's pressure increased by 50%. Have you ever seen the movie Interstellar? You might know what traveling in deep space sounds like. Well, now we have an audio recording released by NASA to back it up. According to scientists, the NASA spacecraft that has traveled the farthest has captured what they call humming outside our solar system. They believe that interstellar waves are the reason behind the persistent hum that the Voyager 1 spacecraft continuously picked up. Voyager 1's detectors recognize the waves as vibrations and minute gas particles detected in the nearly empty interstellar space. The waves of plasma are another name for the vibrations. Over the years, the spacecraft picked up the waves at various radio frequencies. The interstellar medium which Voyager 1 is traveling through is thought by astronomers to be teeming with various large and small waves. These waves can reveal details about the interstellar medium's density. The newly discovered plasma waves would be much too faint to be audible to the human ear. If the hum could be heard, it would appear as a consistent note that played continuously yet changed slightly over time. It is the first time the density of material within deep space can be measured. It's exciting and interesting to think about how many pathways it opens up for scientists to learn about deep space. We can now understand the very structure of the nearby interstellar medium. Previously, Voyager 1 had detected waves, but they were thanks to solar flares. But these humming sounds have nothing to do with solar activity. It even hints at interstellar gas having low-level activity at all times. These findings can help researchers understand how interstellar medium interacts with our system. Now, let's talk about the theories that have made their rounds about Voyager 2 encountering aliens. Voyager 2 is quite far away from Earth. For context, consider that it takes the command sent from Earth 13 hours to reach this probe. But information isn't always sent as clearly as it should be. It wasn't until the end of 2022 that it became apparent the explorer may have encountered an anomaly. The theorists running about at this glitch immediately transformed it into a hot rumor. There was a suggestion that aliens may have been able to locate the Voyager 2 probe and reprogram it to interfere with the communication between it and Earth. It might have been just dismissed as junk, but according to a German specialist, this glitch can only result from extraterrestrial intervention. The Telegraph in the UK also came forward with information agreeing to this claim. This made the rumors even more rooted, as they believed the words of an anonymous UFO expert without comparing it to reliable information from someone knowledgeable about space. It was done to get views and sell copies. The likelihood that a UFO or aliens were involved in this operation is still low, and the most plausible scenario is that something went wrong with Voyager's programming. But the alien theory is unquestionably one that may be debated for a long time. However, Voyager 1 is glitching. It's nothing to be alarmed about. We have a spacecraft that has been wandering in deep outer space for 45 years, and it's expected that there will be some mysteries and riddles that we need to solve. We can't wait to see what other secrets Voyager 1 will unveil in the future. What do you think about Voyager 1's latest transmission? Do you believe that it holds the key to unlocking the mysteries of the cosmos, or are we still a long way from understanding the vastness of space? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.